106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Right on, and welcome to Music Saturday. And no one and Catherine are back. Welcome back, guys. No one is feeling a lot better, buddy. Go ahead. Yes, I am. Thank okay. you. <laughs> we are glad to be back. <laughs> Always a man a few words, Nolan. <laughs> so today we have another uh, new compilation by Factory Fast Records. And uh, we have a couple of things to announce. I know people have seen the news. Uh, first off, uh, one guy we've mentioned plenty of before is Robert Loggia passed away at the age of 85. And uh, because of that, uh, I just have a, a couple uh, a couple little clips of play uh, in, in his memory and Stuff that uh, we've heard before, but still fun anyway. So here we go. The first one. This one's from Family Guy, and uh, it's pretty funny. So dig this. You guys, it's Meg's birthday next week. <gasps> oh, my God, it is. Peter, we got to put together a party. Oh, man, I hate kids' birthday parties. This is going to be worse than that time I was stuck behind Robert Lozier at the airport. May I have your name, please? Robert Lozier. Can you spell that for me? Certainly. That's Robert Lozier. R, as, as in Robert Lozier. O as in, oh my god, it's Robert Loggia. B as in, by god, that's Robert Loggia. E as in, everybody loves Robert Loggia. Oops, sorry. I'll get right back to that in one second. <laughs> it's cut out on here, so. <laughs> Could you imagine someone spelling their name out like that? <laughs> and the next clip is a, it's a short one, but it's from a movie he did in 1997 called The Lost Highway, and it's by David Lynch. And uh, check this out. So that's from the Lost Highway, and pretty much what happens is he gets cuts off, he gets cut off, and he gets really pissed. <laughs> so, and <laughs> as soon as it happens, the two guys in the back of the car buckle up like right away, because <laughs> oh he's about to floor this guy <laughs> and catch up with him. So, but uh, let's get going here with the first song off of the Factory Pass compilation, and we'll get to we'll talk about the second. Uh, Person that passed away a little bit in a little bit because we'll get to that at the end of the compilation. But for now, let's start off with Rock and Herbie. The song's called Stand Up and Scream. <laughs> the suicide of a teenage girl in British Columbia is drawing attention tonight to the history of Herbie. Before she died, she
and Herbie with Stand Up and Scream. Now, this tune obviously was an instrumental, a lot of souls, and you know, it was kind of a mix of like, I want to say like late 80s, 90s sewing, kind of like kind of a back and forth, you know, kind of like new age, old age mix with, with new age, uh, so to speak. And uh, with the overlapping, um, well, not really vocals, but just kind of like background uh, um, talking, it reminded me, I mean, I know a lot of bands do it, but uh, if we're heading back a little bit, reminds me of uh, Megadeth's album, well, the song called Symphony of Destruction off Countdown to Extinction, just because it, it kind of talked about that sort of thing, except theirs was a little bit more political, but that's what I got from the song. Yeah, I agree. It, it, I really heard of 80s, 90s vibe, like you said, Brian. Um, Sounds like a strong Van Halen influence on the songwriting. That was good. I, Good guitar playing. Yeah, and I, I happen to look. I believe he's a solo artist, and so he's doing all of this himself. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Yeah, I mean that's really impressive. Um, really, I thought really solid playing all the way through. I think it really could benefit from a really strong uh, drum track on that. Would just absolutely bring that thing to life. But yeah, great job. Well, he's kind of like a like a disappearer. Yeah. Because disappear yeah. does all the stuff himself too. Grand disappears a little bit more OCD about his music, but. <laughs> But uh, it's, still, it's still a great tune, nonetheless. Yeah, it was. So next up, we're going to get to track two off this one. And goes by the name of SJ Syndicate. And the song's called Dust. His Twitter handle is completely different. 